Boom, we are alive, ladies and gentlemen. It is a wonderful Saturday morning, April the 6th, around 10.30 a.m. in Costa Rica time. We've had a wonderful run. We're still watching that range trade between the 5100 uh, and the 5300 Bitcoin movement to test the next top. We've had a great run in Raven, picked up almost 10 or 12% in the late last night. But as soon as Bitcoin turned, so did everything else. Um, for all of you that joined the private members and paid for the year up front, I'm so um, impressed. Thank you all for... Um, believing in, in the bear den. Thank you to all the administrators and all the people that help build this community together because it's, it's everyone together that it, it makes it the place that it is where you feel uh, like you can all learn, grow together, and ask questions that people are going to actually help you answer. Anyways, total side note, I don't want to go too far into that, but let's dive in and take a look at the charts. So right now, I've actually got Raven up on the screen. Um, so last night, uh, for any of the private Bear Den members that are there, we left a note where we uh, we went, we actually took a long position at, a, oh, it's actually a bit lower here, wasn't it? It was 1220. Uh, we took a long position on Raven at 1220. Uh, late last night, it was kind of an abstract thing. I don't normally like to play like that um, because I don't like, it doesn't always, you don't always sleep well when you're in a Hawkeye trade. And then we were watching this range trade here with everyone in the private Bear Den this morning. Um, but as soon as Bitcoin broke, Raven went back down. And we've seen this twice now where Bitcoin's price movement, everyone jumps back in. Um, now, you seem to see counter, or, um, I guess, uh, influential pr productivity, which is that when Bitcoin moves up, Litecoin also seems to follow suit. Now, Litecoin, we were actually watching quite closely. We also made a private Bear Den update for that this morning. Let's see, do I have it open? Uh, nothing important in there. Um, anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll open that up. Um, but Litecoin, we had, see this note here, we had said we're looking for a breakout past $91. Um, as soon as that happened, we added this idea here, which is that there's the potential for, I should maybe if I go to the 15 minute chart, it'll put all my charting back. 15, 30, where was I charting this before? Yeah, okay, here we go, here was the original chart. So on the 30 minute, uh, this is actually what we gave the private den members about two and a half hours ago when Litecoin is around 91.50. Uh, we drew we drew this line here, that's what we had said, and these other ones didn't exist yet. And then we were looking for a breakout past 91.50 all the way up to $100 um, to retest it. We figure it's going to do the exact same thing as Bitcoin, except when you go to Bitcoin's chart, you can see that all we had was the potential for this 4.5% movement, which we're currently in the swing of now, as in comparison with Litecoin, which actually gave us a better potentiality for that 10% movement over top of, of Bitcoin's five. Now, I hate to say it, um, but Bcash and XRP, well, Bcash actually looked interesting about 20 minutes ago, and it seems to be following the tails of Bitcoin as well. So Bcash is actually one of those ones that seems when, when Bitcoin turns, so does Bcash. This actually might be one of those hedging opportunities just like Litecoin where you're going to get better gain percentages out of some of these alternative digital assets because they move in synchronicity with um, Bitcoin, whereas uh, Raven is the opposite. It goes the opposite direction of Bitcoin, whereas Litecoin and Bitcoin go to the, the same. So we've had a 600% run up in Raven in the last few weeks, and now we're having a counter trend against Bitcoin's upward momentum uh, because we're trading in Satoshis. So here with Bcash, there's a, there's a possibility for a 20% move out of this recent breakout area um, on the 30 minute, although I, wasn't, I sadly wasn't charting Bcash. Uh, one of our, our good friends, Blue Dog, brought this to our attention. We're not really a big fan of this token. But as you can see, you're kind of mixing off a range of possibilities between we know that Bitcoin wants to test $5,300 again, and then you have other tokens that play in momentum with that movement. Um, so I suspect we'll see, uh, a, again, a retest of, what is this, the 34, 35, 50 area with um, Bcash. Uh, again, that's off the back of Bitcoin going up to test the uh, $5,300 area. Now we had even uh, we had mentioned here again potential breakouts could move us to 56 or 5,900 dollars. Those are all coming from the daily chart averages. Those are coming from the fact that we had a a break a breakout signal of 4,400. Right here, this is where we had a breakout signal, and then we have the massive areas of support and resistance. So if I turn my um, see if I can turn my VPR is not turned on but there's a there's a big gap fill right between um, the 54 and the $5,800 area um, after that the gap fill profile actually jets out almost all the way to here it seems very very unlikely we would break past the $6,000 area if we do see momentum this high I think it's going to turn around very very quickly uh, one of the other indicators um, that crown had mentioned that was quite interesting is called the NVT it's a net network value transactions um, it seems to be an in 
interesting indicator for uh, Bitcoin's price. Um, as we can see, we're maxed out in the red. Uh, the other times that we've had that, um, these are definitely times you want to be getting out of the market. So I suspect that we are we are maxing out. Um, so whether we break past 5,300 or not, it's very unlikely that we'll get to 5,900. Although 50, there was an easy fill range into the 54 to 5,600 area right here. Um, so again, this is all information that private den members get. Um, for those of you that haven't signed up, you can go to arcanebear.com forward slash club. Then it gives you the ability to log into where we keep our notes. Um, again, this is for members only. It's $20 a month. And again, thank you for all the people that signed up for a year in advance. Um, and everyone that talked, uh, that mentioned why they did that, it's because you guys believe you love what you've been getting so far for free. So to, to throw down a little bit, um, it didn't bother you at all. So I'm really grateful for that. Uh, it, it means that you guys are invested in us for uh, a long time, right? 365 days from, from yesterday. So I'm, I'm really excited to grow together. But here you can see this was our, uh, the Bitcoin push that we made last night. Uh, again, here it says we're looking for a breakout right at this area, the $5,100. Um, I drew this in with the, the gap fill. I should have actually drawn it in with the line. It says, so the potential breakout uh, could move us to 56 or 5,900. Again, this, what, what we're doing is we're trying to, we don't want to teach you, we don't want to just give you fish, right? So what I'm doing here is making notes so I can show where and why we're doing things. Um, again, we saw, this is the day before, we saw that we actually exited at 5250 and we re-entered re around $5,000. That's what this, these charts talk about too here. Um, basically the re-entry prices and the potentials. Not, again, not trading advice, not trading advice, just what we're doing. Um, so basically all I'm doing is telling you what I'm doing. Um, and we're, all, we're potentially looking at maybe opening an account with only a thousand dollars to see how quickly we could grow it to ten grand, maybe, um, and then see about a, uh, it. Might be a nice follow along. Not sure if I'm going to do that yet because it's always risky to show any of your accounts. Um, anyways, thank you to all the private bear family members that, that uh, signed up. We have over a hundred, uh, almost two hundred and fifteen now, so we're well on our way to filling up the two hundred and fifty spots at the grandfather price of twenty dollars a month. Um, so thank you to everyone. We're about to fill the first tier. After that, I think we're going to raise the price to thirty to forty dollars a month for the next. 250 people and then after that we'll hit the max price point which is for anyone out of the 500 the first 500 people that sign up you guys will pay that will be the flat rate after that but anyone that signs up before that gets grandfathered into a cheaper price for lifetime essentially so figured it was a nice way to tear up the, the bear family as we grew and, and grow, grow and build together uh, we've been putting this all together quite nicely so thank you again to all the bear family members um back into the chat uh, uh area here um, I, again, I exited my Raven trade almost as soon as I saw uh, Bitcoin start to break out. Um, it's really the leader of the pack, and it seems to work in opposite to Bitcoin uh, to Raven. So I, I was I'm very cautious with my Raven trades uh, with Bitcoin having the upper momentum, but I think potentially as Bitcoin falls down, we could see the the breakout. Um, uh, potential for Raven again in this fifth wave because it still is gaining momentum even against uh, or against Bitcoin stability. So keeping a close eye on all of these uh, again with Litecoin we're looking for a hundred dollars. Um, a lot of you had asked about Ethereum too. Um, so let's take a look at Ethereum on the 30 minute chart. Ethereum actually just entered uh, a, a type of a breakout position let's see right at a uh, buck 66 or $166, and it looks like it's gonna to try to push up to 170. Again, it seems like it's gonna follow the identical suit to what Bitcoin is doing and retest its previous highs. So if we look at these price percentage gaps, you know, you've got uh, a possibility for 8% here, there's possibility for 10% in Litecoin, and the one that I missed because I'm not a big fan of Bcash is the fact that they had, there's a, there's a possibility for a 20% move off this breakup, although it's done most of it already, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't enter this position. But we will keep in mind for the next time is that when Bitcoin is moving, we want to keep a track of Bcash as well because it might offer us better returns in a, in a temporary position. And again, I'm not married to any ideas anymore here, even though I hate Bcash and I think Roger Veer is ridiculous. I'm, I'm here to play in the waves. And if there are waves around, I don't want to ignore them simply because I don't like them. Um, and then again, that brings us to something as ridiculous as XRP. Uh, it's dropping down here quite a bit, um, putting us in the potential for uh, just paying attention to it at least. 
Um, again, we, we broke down right here at the 7,300 Satoshi mark. We will probably come down to test the 6,600 Satoshi mark here, depending on what Bitcoin does. I think that the rest of that movement will put Bitcoin into a position of strength and it's going to put XRP into a weakness position. Also, I wanted to go over energy again. Now, again, this is our, our monthly media partner for all the uh, impact work that we are going to do. So we took actually the last month off. Um, we'll be going to Panama this weekend. We're going to go visit an orphanage with one of our best friends. Um, and, and again, this is what the, the whole point of us partnering with companies to help share what they do. It's the fact that we, we take that, um, that energy and we, we put it somewhere productive, not for ourselves, but for, for the, commu the community as, as a large. So um, energy we've been big fans of. Uh, if you look over here, we've been charting them since uh, if February. We went from a 50 cents all the way to a buck 50, so a 300% move since February alone. Again, these are this is fantastic. It's a little high now to jump in, uh, but keeping a close eye on it. What's really interesting about that, though, is if you are going to stick around and stake, um, this the master node rewards on uh, energy are fantastic. So if you stake 10,000 energy, I, I don't have that much of, of energy, but if you did and you want to, and actually you can stake less of it, but if you stake it as a master node, you're averaging around $42 in income a day, around 300 per week, 1,200 per month. Now this reminds me of Dash and their masternode days, where is if you can stake um, your your tokens here and you don't mind waiting out the ups and downs, you can accumulate more energy, uh, and that's very beneficial when you see these 300% moves come out in the future. So uh, energy has a great staking uh, reward system. Their ROI annually is almost 100%. They spend a lot of it rebuilding the treasury, and as you can tell here, we're coming actually up to test the November highs. This could represent a breakout opportunity, and and I actually missed this because I, I wish KuCoin had trading view. They were added to KuCoin, but we don't have them on trading view yet, but there is a beautiful cup and handle that formed right here, right before this extra 50% move came out. So I do suspect we're gonna test the recent um, all time highs. And because energy seems to be strengthening in the, the mo momentum of Bitcoin, um, it's really important to keep an eye on those that move with Bitcoin as well. I think it's a very, very nice way to go. So um, I'm going to drop in. Uh, remember, give us those thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, apparently we had a thumbs down bot. So thank you to those guys as well. I chatted with YouTube uh, and they said that it actually does better for the YouTube algorithm even if people are disliking it more. So dislike away all you want. We, and the core people can just listen. They know the value is amazing. They don't just look for likes. So luckily YouTube's algorithm doesn't give a shit. It's not biased. Whether it's a like or a dislike, they give you more momentum in the space. So whatever, we take it as it comes. I, I appreciate all the support, whether it's positive or negative. We'll take that energy and we'll do the best that we can with it. It's Tia with the Arcane Bear. Again, thanking you all, Bear family, for what a wonderful ride we get to enjoy together. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow, maybe not at Sunday. Um, if you haven't yet, we only have around 35 spots left for the first 250 grandfather Bear members. And again, at $20 a month, we're providing a massive amount of value. The community support, um, is priceless and the community support is really priceless it's such a beautiful group of people i'm so grateful to be a part of this family so we'll see you guys on the side thank you so much for joining us i cannot cannot thank you enough uh and if i haven't yet well thank you we'll see you guys tomorrow